Hey, lady. What's goody, pretty faces? How are y'all doing? I see they mad at rock supporters. Oh, they mad. They mad at rock supporters. Oh, my God. The haters are mad. I don't know what's going on. Every time I turn around, another Krishan Rock supporter getting sniped. God damn. Nasty work. Hey, pretty faces. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing on this uh Friday? Look, look, I was about to say Thursday. I forgot I took the garbage to the curb this morning. It's Friday. Hey, pretty faces. What's goody? Hey, Ashley. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, mamas. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, Scott. Hey, Rita. Truly blessed. What's good, he Miss trying to call me. Stop calling me. I'm live. God damn. Stop calling me. Every time I go live. How y'all pretty faces doing? God damn. Krishan Rock fans can't get no love in these YouTube streets, internet streets. Instagram streets, god damn. Leave Team Rock alone. I don't like it. I don't like it. And it's the women. Y'all messing with the women. Y'all trying to cancel the women pages. Y'all reporting them. Y'all trying to get them blocked and all this. Y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop. Us that love Krishan Rock and the haters, like, we doing the same shit. We supporting Rock. Because even all of the hate keep her in the algorithms. Thank you. But y'all ain't got to do it like this. Leave them goddamn women alone, goddamn it. Some of these women single mamas. They got kids. They got moms to feed. Let these women do their goddamn thing. So what y'all niggas hating rock? You can hate rock all the hell you goddamn want. Leave these goddamn women alone, goddammit. Let these women get to a dollar, goddammit. They loving on rock. And they doing they one too. Leave them alone, goddammit. Leave them alone. I see it all. Don't think I don't see it, goddammit. Leave these goddamn pretty ass women alone, goddammit. They minding their business. They got an opinion just like y'all. God damn. God damn. Leave Team Rock alone. Leave Team Rock alone. Some of these goddamn women on Team Rock, some of y'all beautiful as hell, goddammit. I be all on y'all Instagram and shit. Pictures up looking all goddamn pretty and shit. And goddamn. It was her pretty ass behind this page all this goddamn time. It was her goddamn pretty ass. Goddamn. I'm turning the notification bell on right now. Ha 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 
<laughs> I'm following her ass right now. I knew she was a goddamn Krishan Rock fan page and all that, but I ain't know she was working with all that. God damn. Krishan Rock got some sexy ass goddamn fans, God damn it. How are y'all pretty faces doing, God damn it? God damn, Rock. <laughs> <laughs> hey ladies Hey Keish, what's goody? Rowan, what's goody ladies? Slim goodness, what's goody? How are y'all ladies doing? Hey Unique Uniquely yours Hello mother yuckas Hey mama how y'all pretty faces doing on this Friday? How are y'all pretty faces doing? Tell them haters to leave Team Rock alone, goddammit. Goddamn. These goddamn women, they out here working hard, goddammit. They holding down the goddamn fort. They doing all type of fly ass edits and shit. They got Rock and Junior looking all goddamn cute and shit. They adding goddamn music and shit. Goddamn. Leave them goddamn women alone, goddamn it. They working hard, goddamn it. They working hard. Y'all making Junior hate pages. They mad. Y'all talking about the goddamn baby. How the hell you talking about the goddamn baby? Big, grown, old, dusty niggas. Broke niggas, got no life type of niggas, unemployed niggas, home all day, miserable, arguing with your bitch type niggas. God damn. Leave Junior alone, god damn it. I'm tired of coming on the internet, god damn it, verbally whooping your ass, god damn it. Call Lissa, you a... Raggedy scallywag too, goddamn it. Running your goddamn mouth. I see Carlissa running around with the goddamn Krishan Rock hate pages, goddamn it. She all in the comments. She liking shit. She sharing shit. She all in they inboxes. God damn. Got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Nasty work. Nasty work around here, man. Got to be more goddamn careful. Krishan Rock done went live. All type of BS going on over there at Blue House, goddamn it. Pop a blue car getting vandalized. They done slashed the nigga tires more than once in a couple of months. They pulling out guns and shit. Goddamn. The hate is real, Rock. Right? Nasty work. Hey, pretty faces. If y'all are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the link is in my bio. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, my feelings is hurt. I'm mad. I don't like it. I don't like it. Y'all know what's cancers be all than our feelings and shit, y'all. Yeah? I'm a gangster nigga on the outside, you heard? Nigga all mushy mushy on the inside and shit. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, my goddamn feelings is hurt with your pretty ass. The link is in my bio, Tyron Motif. Please go over there, sub up, turn on the notification bells. We team rock. When it comes to Krishan Rock, we is very goddamn biased, goddammit. I don't care what's going on, who said it, who goddamn did it. If it involved Krishan Rock, goddammit, we is very goddamn biased. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, goddammit. Goddamn. Rock haters on a goddamn roll. They shutting down pages. They reporting posts. They leaving hate comments all on YouTube videos. God damn.
Can I live? These niggas out here is crazy. These niggas crazy. They need to go and get a job or something. They need to go and get that work from home shit up. They ain't got nothing to do. They need to be somewhere with some goddamn white man is over their goddamn shoulder making sure they busy. Y'all motherfuckers got too much time on your hands every goddamn day, seven days a goddamn week. God damn, nigga. You ain't even got nothing part-time, nigga. Not even part-time, nigga. You don't go hit a time clock for four hours. It's always the same hating ass niggas under everybody goddamn post. God damn. Some of y'all goddamn broke women got so much goddamn time on your hands. Goddamn. Maybe that's why you goddamn broke. Go find something productive to do, goddammit. Go find something productive to do, goddammit. Goddamn. <laughs> hey, Lima, what's goody with you? Hey, Marsh, what's goody? How are y'all pretty faces doing? Y'all know I be just going on my rants. Y'all know there's no rhyme or reason to my goddamn rants, you heard? I will give this shit a proper video title later. Don't even worry about it. Let's just make sure Instagram don't cut us off. Please subscribe to the YouTube channels. Tyron Motif is my main channel. I also have a backup channel. The link is in my bio, pretty faces. Please tap those links and sub to both of those YouTube channels. Please sub to the YouTube channels. All of my regulars, y'all know my YouTube channels, my platforms is comedy clubs. Each live stream is a comedy special. One stage, one mic, one man, goddammit. One band, one sound, goddammit. If they opinion don't align with ours, fuck them. We team rock, fuck them. It don't matter, fuck them. God damn. Sorry ass niggas. Messing with my goddamn baby girls on Instagram. Leave them alone, goddammit. Leave them alone, goddammit. Leave they pretty asses alone. Y'all hating ass niggas. Some of y'all blue face fans too. Some of y'all blue face fans is going real hard with Krishan Rock. Carlissa fans going real hard with Krishan Rock. Jade and Alexis fans going real hard with Krishan Rock. God damn. Right, mama. Fuck them all. Right, mama. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I remember hearing Krishan Rock talking about a podcast. I can't wait for Rock to start a podcast. Where she's getting paid to talk. You sitting down to talk your ish. Uh-huh. I can't wait. We gonna see how much y'all hate it. We gonna see what y'all got to say then. When she getting paid to sit down and smoke you niggas. Uh-huh. Yup. Yup. She don't even need a bunch of mics. She don't need no B mic, C mic, D mic. She don't need a hundred co-hosts, neither. She is smoke, you niggas. All you podcast niggas, she a blow right by you. She a blow right by you niggas. Let Rock really sit down and decide the podcast. She a smoke, you niggas. One episode every week. She'll smoke you niggas. And don't let her find a nigga like me. 
Because I'm going to say all the shit she shouldn't say. I'm going to be her sidekick. Anytime she want to get a point across and this is some shit she shouldn't be saying, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. God damn. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Uh-huh. I'm going to be the funny nigga on the podcast. Every talk show, every radio show, every morning show, every afternoon show, every happy hour, rush hour show, they always got the one funny nigga on it. He the nigga sitting in the cut, you heard? He don't even say much. But every time he open his mouth, nigga say some crazy shit. Yeah, I'm that nigga. Yup. God damn, right? I'm on my way, right? Let's get these niggas, right? <laughs> that should have take rock youtube channel through the roof what weekly episodes of her going on her rent what fuck instagram all that rock Make them niggas wait the next week. Save it for the podcast, Rock. Don't even worry about it. Make them wait. Right. Right. That's a whole fact. Make them wait. Stall them out. Stall them out. They going to pay more for it. Stall them out. Hold up. Yup. Yup. How y'all pretty faces doing though, man? I hope y'all subbed up to the YouTube channel. If y'all not, my feelings is hurt, ladies. I'm going to say it again. I'm crying right now. I'm crying right now. I don't like it. My feelings hurt. My feelings hurt. Y'all ain't subbed up to the YouTube channel. My feelings is hurt. Instagram, I ain't know all that. Oh, she just started a live? What? What? Let's see what Mars up to. What? Marjane just went live? Hold on, let's see what she talking about. I might transfer this thing over to YouTube. Hold on, let's see what Marjane talking about right quick. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, nah, she playing music. Oh, nah, she playing music. I can't do it. I can't do it. But what I can do is I can screen record this on my iPad and I can react to the parts where she not playing music later. So thank you for letting me know that. What I'm going to do is... Y'all almost come out of here today. That was scary. Yeah, I'm going to just go on the screen and call her just in case. So I can upload it. I might react to this later on tonight. I might do a midnight live stream or something. If not, definitely first thing in the morning. Y'all can react to that later. I'm going to let Marsh do a thing. Wow. Yeah, they playing. Yeah, they playing music loud. Most of it, I ain't going to be able to uh, put it on YouTube. So I'm going to have to edit that down, chop it all up and all that. But how are y'all pretty faces doing? How are y'all doing? 
How are y'all pretty faces doing? Um, somebody typed it in the chat. Slim Goodness typed it in the chat. Yeah, that's her name. M. Dutchy Baby. Dutchy with an I. M. Dutchy Baby underscore, I believe. Something like that. Yeah, but go check out Marjane. She's on uh, Instagram. She also have a YouTube channel of the same name. Sub up to her YouTube channel. Sub up to her YouTube channel. Yeah, these rock haters, they out here going strong. They trying to slow baby girl down. They trying to slow baby girl down. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't slow it down. You can't slow it down. You can't slow it down. Yeah, they be trying to slow it down. You can't slow it down. She is the algorithm. Slow what down? Them niggas stop rock. The internet might stop working. You heard? <laughs> she. <laughs> they stop rock. Your internet might stop working. You heard? <laughs> Your shit gonna go out and never come back on. <laughs> it's gonna be over. <laughs> it's gonna be over. Life as you know it for a lot of y'all to be. Should it be different, you heard? Right? <laughs> Should it be different? But I really hope Rock start a podcast and, and, and take that serious, man. Rock really need that in her life right now. Rock can start a podcast and don't have to talk about none of the drama. Word. She could give you topics that have nothing to do with what's going on on social media. She could come talk about womanhood, motherhood. Relationships. That's a fact. That's a whole fact. I would love that for her. And she could do that from her own home. You don't need to go and lease commercial space for a podcast studio. Dedicate a bedroom in a house. Set up a podcast setting. Whether you got a couch, a coffee table, and a couple microphones. However you want to set it up. It's just you and your friends. Krishan Rock, Marjane, and Janet. A three-woman podcast. There go platinum on you niggas every seven days. 
All they need is a one hour conversation every week. Krishan Rock, Marjane, and Janet. A one hour conversation once a week. That shit will take Krishan Rock YouTube channel through the roof. It wouldn't cost you nothing to produce it. You don't need cameras in the camera crew and lights. Put your iPhone on a tripod and press record. Treat that shit like an Instagram live. Y'all just kicking it. You could create a 15 second intro for free on your iPhone. With your own music. You put that in the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. Upload that shit to YouTube. She wouldn't have to worry about no interviews, no none of that shit. She don't have to leave the house. Once a week, y'all niggas get an episode. Y'all can record... Two, three, four, five, six episodes a day. You only releasing one a week. That'll take her through the her shit and go through the roof. That'll slow down all you hating ass niggas. That'll slow down all the hate and traction online. When it comes to Krishan Rock. Y'all niggas would have to wait. Every week for a new episode. To see what's going on with Krishan Rock. All of the hate pages are die. All of the hate pages are die. That's a fact. And she'll boost her monthly income coming on YouTube. Because you uploading four new videos every 30 days to that YouTube channel. One video a week. That's four a month. That's revenue. That's revenue. One of those hour conversations, them shit's going to go viral. Damn near all of them. You just sitting down talking with your friends. Those YouTube numbers will do better than most of these niggas' songs. You talking to your friends on YouTube will get you more YouTube views than most of these niggas' music. And all you did was press record on your iPhone. You ain't need a makeup artist. You ain't need a cameraman. You ain't need security. You ain't need a driver. You ain't need an editor. That's a fact. But shout out to all of y'all women that support and rock, man. Especially y'all blogging pages, the fan pages, the editors. Man, that editing is hard work, man. Editing those Instagram reels take a lot of hard work, dedication, time. Like, you really gotta be willing to sacrifice some shit to be posting edited reels every day. Multiple reels a day. That shit is time consuming. Like, I tilt my hat to y'all women. That's a fact. Word. Every time I hear about them fucking with y'all pages, that shit be making me mad. I don't like it because y'all be going hard for rock. Y'all be going hard for rock. And I, 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 I need to see y'all winning with y'all pretty asses. I need y'all yeah, goddamn winning on YouTube, making money, all that. Word. That's a whole goddamn fact.
That's a whole fact. I see uh, a few of nature boy wives and the women that's been holding him down, they've been real vocal. One of them did an interview with Neek at night. Velvet went live. She responded to that shit sitting in the car crying and all that. I might react to that too on a late night tonight. Yeah, I definitely might react to that also. But um, I'm going to definitely check out Marsha Nate live stream that she just did. I got to skim through that to see what she was talking about. See if she was talking about anything important. Maybe she was just playing music. Word. But I would love for Rock to uh, jumpstart that podcast. That right there will stop a lot of the online hate. Word. Because the hate can only feed off what she's giving the internet. Right? What she's giving Instagram, Snapchat. Twitter, her tweets and shit. They can only feed off that. When she not active, the hate not active. Them niggas is quiet. So if she could store them niggas out for a week for a podcast episode, oh yeah, it'll get dark for them niggas. It'll get real dark for the haters. Yep, the Nature Boy situation would be interesting. Yeah, most definitely. Word. I'm definitely... Uh, I got a lot of uh, screen recordings, live streams from his wives, from some of the ex-members. I got them on private. They on my backup channel. But I'm going to start... Uh, I'm going to start reacting to those on my main channel. I definitely have a bunch of... And I've been following that Nature Boy and Carbonation since the beginning. I know all about it. I know the storyline. I'm saying I could pull up old videos where they was wilding on them and all that. We could talk about all that. Well, if you're not subbed up to the YouTube channel, Pretty Faces, please hit the link in my bio. Sub to my channel, Tyron Motif. My backup channel is also there. Sub up to both channels. I would greatly appreciate it. I just had to tap in with y'all right quick. <clears throat> I see what's on my timeline. I see what y'all pretty faces going through. Y'all be in the comments holding rock down. When Carlissa go live talking crazy, I be seeing the real rock supporters, the ones that hold her down. I be seeing y'all women. Y'all be going hard. Word. And then for somebody to like galvanize an army to like go and cancel some of y'all pages is crazy. That's nasty work. It's a lot of reporting going on if you canceling an Instagram page. That means y'all niggas sat and was mass reporting all at one time. That's the only way you could cancel an Instagram page. Like, that's crazy. I saw a clip of him. When he said he let his son play with it. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, Nature Boy was wilding. Nature Boy is definitely a disgrace. They got him off the streets. Word. He did a lot of foul things to those women. And he make the polygynous lifestyle look bad, right? Like, I don't like that. I'm a fucking traditional man, and I don't like that. That's bad. There is some healthy polygynous relationships that's thriving around the world. Only in America is that not the norm. If you ever been to the continent of Africa or anywhere else in the East, polygyny is legal. The president got four, five, ten goddamn wives. Goddamn country got four first ladies. Everybody is honorable for a man to have multiple wives in most of the world. 
only in the Western Hemisphere, white oppressive countries, is it not the thing? And for a young black nigga in America to take black women out of America and be torturing them and abusing them in different countries, you getting kicked out of, that makes American niggas look bad. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You already know the picture white America try to paint of black America around the world. Oh, they gang bangers, they lazy, they violent. They abusive. Then you got a nigga like Nature Boy. He all in Costa Rica. He all in Panama. He in different countries with his black ass and these black women. Goddamn people ain't never seen no shit like this before in their damn life. A whole goddamn nigga coat. From some American ghetto on the other side of the goddamn world in the fucking rainforest. Man. God damn. Nasty work. Them niggas was so dirty and disgusting. They got kicked off an airplane. The passengers of the airplane said, y'all cannot close that airplane door and take off with these people smelling like this. Like, yeah. Made them niggas evacuate the airport. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. All them niggas supposed to be rich right now, living a best life, traveling the world. Everybody got monetized YouTube channels. We all making money. There's no way I got 10 women living with me. And we what? We'd have been rich already. Fuck out of here. We ain't doing nothing illegal. I ain't trying to hold nothing that don't want to be held. You don't want to be here. Bye. All this goddamn talent in here. Ain't no way in hell we ain't getting rich. I don't know what the hell that weird nigga was thinking about. Ain't no goddamn way. Goddamn. Ain't no goddamn way. We'd have been rich. Original music, reality TV shows, documentaries, web series, movies. We got multiple YouTube channels. We shopping some of this shit to Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Stars. The hell? I'm living with 10 women and I'm mistreating them? Is you stupid or dumb, nigga? What? We'd have been a fucking unique family dynamic. Do you know the money would have been made? What? All you bitches would have been pregnant at the same goddamn time and fucking happy. We'd have got fucking rich. That nigga dumb as a rock. Spending the rest of his life in jail where he need to be, you sorry ass bastard. God damn. Nigga dumb as a goddamn rock. Dumb as a rock. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I got all these goddamn women in here. And, 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 and what? 
Abusing these women and taking the Venus of these women should have been the furthest thing away from your goddamn mind. How you even entertaining all that? All this goddamn talent and potential in here, nigga. I am a businessman. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I'm not even putting all y'all women in the same damn room if I ain't figure out how we all gonna make some money. It ain't no need. No, no, hell no. I figured that out before you got here. We hitting the ground running. There's too many goddamn pretty faces and pretty toes laying around this motherfucker for y'all to be feeling neglected and abused and broke. What? That nigga dumb as a bag of rocks. That's a whole fact. Yeah, but we definitely going to get into that, though. We definitely going to get into that. That ain't make no sense. Nigga, you took these women to parts of the world where the cost of living is damn near nothing. The money you spend taking care of one woman in America, you could have took care of all of them on the other side of the world, nigga. And, and we all live in a comfortable life. Like the cost of living is like literally nothing. Nothing. They go to the other side of the world and live like a fucking king. $500 a month. That shit pay your mortgage, your travel, your food, your party money. $500 a month. And you a fucking king over there. When the average citizen is earning $150 a month. Your living budget, your cost of living is $500. You balling. You balling. So let's say you really want to ball. Around a thousand dollars a month, you in a fucking mansion. You in a mansion. You in a five bedroom mansion. Every bedroom got a bathroom in it. Marble floors. You in a mansion. Less than $500 a month will get you a three-bedroom fucking house, a private home in most of the goddamn world. And you took black women from America on the other side of the world and couldn't get right with them? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. You got these beautiful ass women all out in the goddamn jungle. They all sleeping with the lions, tigers, and bears and shit. Why, nigga? The cost of living is nothing. Nothing. You could have rented a mansion every goddamn month with a half of a fucking disability check from America. You got like 10 women with you, nigga. Is you stupid or dumb? Pretty ass 
ass goddamn women supposed to be laid up on a soft ass, wiggling they goddamn pretty toes, goddammit. Until it's time to record some shit. Until it's time to edit some shit. All that goddamn money. Stupid nigga could have been rich already. You spending the rest of your life in jail. Big dummy. The big dummy. Nigga had over 10 women. How you fuck that pack up? I don't even need 10. Give me two or three in the same house. We getting rich. I'm doing what I do by myself. Making good money doing it by myself. I got two, three women in here willing to learn some shit and take my lead? What? We rich. We out of here. We on the other side of the world doing the same shit. Wiggling our toes in white sand, sipping pina coladas and shit. Fuck out of here. Dumbass nigga. That nigga dumb as a rock. He right where he need to be in a white man jail cell thinking about this dumb shit for the rest of his life. God damn. Nature boy done lost his mind, lost his goddamn freedom, lost them goddamn women. God damn. Krishan Rock supporters out here losing their Instagram pages, losing their goddamn YouTube channels, getting blocked, getting reported. God damn. Blue face still sitting in that white man jail cell. His raggedy, ratchet ass mama still running her goddamn mouth. God damn. Got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Nasty work. Nasty work, ladies. Nasty work. How are y'all pretty faces doing now? I hope y'all pretty face is doing great. I was just editing uh, some videos before I came live. I said, let me go live and run my mouth right quick. Let me go talk some ish right quick. Let me go talk some ish right quick. <laughs> but thank y'all for tapping in with me, man. I greatly appreciate it, ladies. Remember, my social media platforms and YouTube channel is a comedy club. Each live stream is the stand-up comedy special. I want to laugh with you. I want to cry with you. I want to face fight. I want to smile with you. Peace.